Right, because was it in June that you had your your first child? Mm -hmm. your that was another thing. I had a child on the way, and I felt like um, God give you what you what you what you need instead of what you want. I said, man, if I got a son on the way, I ain't gonna change nothing. I'm still be smoking. I'm still be gun heavy. I'm still hang around a hundred niggas. Cause at the same time. You got it in your heart. My son not going to be a bitch. I want my son to be gangster like his daddy or tough like his daddy. And, and like, you say you got a daughter, you're just like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't have a hundred niggas around my daughter. I don't, niggas weird. Niggas real deal be pedophiles out here. You not finna be around my daughter. I can't be smoking around my daughter. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things you have to change when you have a little girl on the way. And that was one of them things that sparked it. And um, meditation just carried me all the way through it. And I remember um, I remember when I got to the last day of December, I, I knew I wasn't going to kill myself because I had already worked, worked my battles out within self and I felt great. But I was so scared to face that day because I just felt like I had spoke some shit up to where like something would have happened to my ass. Like, you know, I, that type energy, that type energy can consume. It don't matter if, if it's not coming from you, something could have just happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, didn't you apologize for actually putting I it out apologize. there? Yeah. Saying, saying, I'm sorry for saying I'm going to kill myself. At, I was at more some so point. sorry to myself, more so than anybody. Like, fuck, fuck what everybody else think. You know what I'm saying? During that apology, I was apologizing to everybody. But now that I look at it, the apology really was more so meant for me. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't never need to disrespect myself like that again. You know what I mean? Well, the, the thing with, with your baby mother, there was an incident that happened at her house. Mm -hmm. You said that's, that's how you caught your second felony. Um, it was like, I think it was my third, I believe it one night. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. it was a shooting? Um, it was, now, if we been, if we been honest, we can bring a lie detector in here. Me and my baby mother, we on great terms. And, um, that case is already nipped in the bud. It's I, worked out. Yeah. I got probation for one thing. It was like, um, vandalism, which I, which I told the judge, I said, you honor, I did this. I, I, I did. I kicked the garage in. Yes, I did, but um, the 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 shit when they said um I shot up a house while my daughter was in there, it never happened. That's false. Okay, um, cause that's what I was concerned about. Man, it's extreme. that never happened. It never happened. Oh. That's that's on that's Thank on my heartbeat. That that's on my little girl heartbeat. That never happened. I never. Right. Matter of fact, um, in the, in the police report, it was no shell cases found on the scene. It was no bullet holes in the house, and I still got charged with it. I also got charged with um assault. And the Alpha David, he said I assaulted her with closed fist. Um, when they picked me up, you you couldn't see a mark on my hand from punching a motherfucker, or, or and also you couldn't see a mark on someone's face. Nobody fa if I punch you with a closed fist, my knuckles bony as hell. You gonna be fucked up somewhere. And um, it was non apparent. And also I had got a burglary charge, but someone opened the door for me and let me in. So those three things got tossed out. There was no evidence, and, uh, and and they just charged me with vandalism, which I told them, I'm like, yo, I take this. I did that. That's the only thing I did do. And uh, I got probation for like six months, and that shit went by quick. Okay, thank God. Yeah, and I and I finally got. I couldn't even get. I couldn't see my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, the judge said the judge said that I could see my daughter, but I just couldn't be in the same vicinity of my baby mother. But still, I didn't see my daughter for a whole year. I only saw my I only saw my daughter for the first week she was born, and I didn't see her to her to the to the next year mm. on her birthday. So you missed out all that whole out, year, bro. the first steps, the, the first words. Missed out. You didn't get to change your diapers. Missed out, not one. It's all fucked up. I changed it one time and I forgot. When I got with her, I didn't even remember how to change one. <laughs> right. Like it was it was it was it was the hardest part. One of the hardest parts of my life, but um, within the process, I said, you know what? God don't do things um, to me. He do it for me. So within the process, I was just working on myself. Good. Every day I was becoming a better version of me, um, accepting my wrongs as well. Um, always knowing that I, I'm not an angel. I know um, I did wrongs too. And just accepting that and being a human being and just learning from your mistakes and um, moving accordingly, you know. Well, you but got now I'm with a I'm with a I'm with her a lot. You know what I'm saying? She's my favorite person. I'm more, I can be more than grateful. Every every second with her is plush. That's mm -hmm. what's up. That's what's up. 